Hello again. Welcome to another episode of whatever this is. This past few days I've been thinking about how everybody in the whole world actually is everybody. And it's up to each of us to choose who we will serve. This, I'm going to title this one Romans 6 verse 16. Some people are serving teachers that teach them errors, but the word of Yahuwah is living and active and sharper than any two-edged sword. And when you hear lies taught, the word being sown in your mind will send off red flashing lights. You will say, wait a minute, there's an inconsistency here. Yahuwah said to do this, and Constantine said, don't do that. And the myths just march along, and parents teach their children about Sunday and the cross. These words, Sunday, they mean things. They're programmed into our minds. Sunday is the day of the sun. The Romans called it dies solus. And that was the day that they worshipped in the morning at a pillar or a steeple. And they had bells and they rang them. The sun worship just goes on and on. It got mixed in. The word cross, which was the symbol of the sun to Constantine, he saw a cross beneath the sun that said, in this sign, conquer. He was a sun worshiper. He worshipped the sun, and he mixed the sun up with the Messiah. In this book, Sunday Origins, there's two things that you have to look at here. Well, this is an Egyptian symbol of the sun flying around the sky. But this word, Sunday, is just the name given to it from a translation from the Latin, the Dei Solus, the day of the sun. And this is some kind of a halo or solar nimbus. Halos, they're, they're, they mean the sun too. In Hinduism or Buddhism, you have a sun or a halo around the Buddhist statues. They're sun worshippers. And this symbol right here, it's a Celtic crux, but it's still a crux. And the halo is part of the crux. Well, the, the crux and the word Sunday are related. They come from paganism. And they got mixed up during the reign of Constantine. Constantine made the crux, the symbol of his sun deity, the symbol for Christianity from his time onward. But people seem to not care or know. And the, and the crux is the symbol that everyone recognizes. And they associate it, just like Constantine did, with the Messiah. Yahusha, the, the man Hieromonius Sophronius in 391 through three, 403 translated the word staros, which means a stake or a pole, a straight upright beam, into the word crux. And that became the Latin Vulgate, and that's what mankind has inherited. So. The Latin word for staros, which is Greek, the Latin word is staro. It, it's spelled exactly the same, except for the ending S, making it masculine. So we've got uh, staros, became star, it didn't become staro, it became crux, which was the symbol that Constantine had decided for the symbol of his sun deity. See this? See the little halo or rays of the sun? around this. This is part of the Jesuit emblem. Sunday Origins. You can get this at Amazon. Amazon.com. Just look for my name, Lou White, and you'll see my author's page. Ten bucks. <clears throat> anyway, in the back of this book, I wanted to read something to you. But I want to tell you what Constantine was the Pontifex Maximus of his, he was the high priest of the Roman religion. Now that was not Yahushua's religion. That, this is a, we're not about religion. We're about following commandments and doing the word. 
be doers of the word, not hearers only. Anyway, uh, back here, Yahuwah's mark, his mark keeps us from buying and selling. There's one day a week that we do not buy and sell. The ones with the mark of the beast are able to buy and sell in their, in their minds, but they're violating the seventh day rest. That's the, the key to this whole thing. Now, a strong reason for Yahuwah keeping us from buying and selling is shown to us in the captivity that we had for 70 years in Babel. Um, they failed to allow the land to rest, so Yahuwah sent them into Babel for 70 years, and the land got its rest. They failed. Then after a remnant returned, they started to ignore resting on the seventh day, buying and selling with traders who came into the walls on the Sabbath, or Shabbat. This is what it says in Nehemiah, or Nehemiah, Nehemiah is what they call it, in chapter 13, verse 18. And men of Sor dwelt there, bringing in fish and all kinds of goods and sold them on the Shabbat to the children of Yehuda, and in Jerusalem, The sign of the eternal covenant forever is the sign of the Sabbath. And uh, it's, that's quoted from uh, page 78 here in Sunday Origins. But all the things that Constantine did during his reign, they're noted, noted in here. His own words translated, of course, so you can understand them in English, uh, have passed down. And his hatred for the Torah, which is the instructions Yahuwah gave us to live by so that we could learn to love him and love our neighbor, were cast aside. And uh, that's why the world is in such a, a bad place, because pastors have failed us. They have not taught the truth. They erect pillars, steeples, bells, and they meet in the morning on the first day of the week when they should be going back to work. Constantine is the one that ordered everything to be closed. And he carried the death penalty because he was the throne. Constantine's throne it was inherited as the Pontifex Maximus of the priesthood into the papacy, which adopted the same word, Pontifex Maximus. And his throne in his cathedral, that's a word that means chair or throne, uh, gave him powers that Caesar formerly had to carry out the death penalty on anybody who disobeyed his orders. Now, there's a Latin term called ex cathedra. And that word, if you look that up, ex cathedra, it means from the throne. And it's an edict, it's an order from the papacy, acting as Pontifex Maximus, just like Constantine did, or a Caesar. Now, I want to remind you, too, that in the book of Deuteronomy, we're told that the king is to carry the commandments with him and write them in his own hand, the Ten Commandments. Write them down, keep them with him, and read them every day, and be reminded that as ruler... He is nothing greater. He's not greater than the ones that he rules. He is just like them. And he's to have compassion and not treat them any other way than he would want himself treated. So if you are a ruler of any kind, with any kind of power over others, a judge, a police officer, a president, a king, or a pope, you're just like the people that you think you rule over. So read the commandments every day. Do what the kings are ordered to do. As a police officer, you should read the commandments every day and carry them with you. If you don't, you do not serve who you think. You may be serving Constantine. And Constantine was not doing Yahuwah's commandments. He was obeying another one. Romans 6.16 do you not know that the one that you obey as a servant 
is the one that, you're, that you serve. We are servants of Yahuwah, who is Yahusha. Thanks for watching this, and pick up a copy of Sunday Origins and learn how Sunday and the cross became mixed up with Christianity. Constantine did it to you. Bye now.